Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day or night. On today's episode, we're going to talk about modern women and their fail- failure to live in reality. If you've watched some of my other episodes, you'll see women talk about wanting to meet famous people or be with famous people or just these unrealistic and not grounded in reality expectations they have of men. Let's get into it. So she's 44 and does curriculum and says, not sure my essence is truly captured in such a short blurb. Okay. I am witty and talkative. Okay. I mean, you can just be witty, but all right, fine. I'm looking to tap into my athletic side more often. Let's, and this is what I want to key on gentlemen. I'll show you in just a moment. I like clear communication and will give the same in return. Sure. Bring your hell yes energy and so will I. Okay, so again, we have we have a single mom in her 40s. Um, this profile is not so bad in itself, except for her next picture. She says, I, again, I'm looking to tap it in my athletic side more often. So here is a picture of this person. <laughs> Women. <laughs> That's a huge bitch. Yeah, ma'am. <sighs> It's fine to say I'm, you know, I'm getting back to the gym or something like that, but the tap in your athletic side, I mean, again, here's the thing. Women wait at the finish line for men. There's no profile they would swipe on of a man saying, I'm in the process of making a bunch of money. I'm in the process of being successful. They don't care. They want you to already be successful. They already want you to. And of course, she also says here, favorite quality in person consistency. This tells me guys don't take her seriously because she's very overweight and again just be and you know in the barbie thing really i mean ma'am there's nothing about barbie that you i mean you look nothing like barbie i mean seriously and i would this would be the same thing if a dude was you know posing and like doing like some sort of you know bodybuilder poses you know you know with what who's like 300 pounds it's just you know accentuate your positives ma'am and talking about how you're going to get athletic i mean why don't you go get athletic and then to you know, say, hey, I've recently been on a weight, you know, I've lost a bunch of weight, I'm getting fit. Um, Anyway, let's move on. So she's 38 and says about me, old school, hopeless romantic. Oh boy. Nope. I'm sure you are. She continues. Still hoping to find my person to settle down and grow old with. Okay. Big on communication, honesty and loyalty. Sure. I mean, she said absolutely nothing and all that. All right. Italian and German. <laughs> okay. Thick and curvy. That's a huge bitch. Yeah. This is not what men want, ladies. I mean, all this crap about, you know, you'll get romance if you inspire the, that behavior out of men. Just like men, you know, men who go right to, you know, bedroom fun pictures or things that are hyper you know, sexual does not stimulate you ladies at all. What, you know, unless it's a guy who's maybe highly attractive, he could maybe get away with it. But most guys, you know, stimulate your mind first, then you'll get access to the punani. This is the same kind of thing, writing all this crap about how I want you to come at romantically and I'm, but I'm fat and all this stuff is not attractive to men. And it's, it's just unrealistic again. And she continues. Animal and nature lover. Okay, that's sweet, sure. But then she says the dreaded total foodie. And ladies, if you see a man's profile and he's already like, he has a picture of himself playing video games and then he writes, I really like my PlayStation 5 and just keeps talking about, yeah, it would be off-putting, wouldn't it? So her going, I'm I'm a big girl and then going, I also into food. Yeah, we, we know. <laughs> we we got Bruh. we got it uh, okay then she finishes and this is you know the, the the cherry on top is a rare diamond in the rough the bitch is crazy <laughs> what is rare about a 38 year old overweight woman who you know who's a single mom it's you're not rare and this idea i mean i'm not rare either no one's rare i mean there are certain high you know at super high value people i mean everyone thinks of themselves this way but you know you're just another person you could say you know for example you know Lionel messi the guy just won the world cup you don't know the soccer player yeah he's a pretty rare person he 
won, won Argentina the World Cup. He's been a world renowned soccer player for 20 years. Sure, he's kind of rare. You're not rare. And this, this attitude of, you know, uh, again, a below average woman expecting exceptional results, unrealistic and uh, not grounded in reality. Let's continue. So she says, uh, she's 41 and 5'7 and says, uh, the way to win me over is show me your gentlemanly qualities with a twinkle in your eye or be Ted Lasso. This, you know, as I mentioned in the open, talking about some star, some Hollywood actor who is very attractive and famous and rich in your dating profile is the same as a man putting, you know, uh, why aren't you Jennifer Lawrence? I, I'd like to date Jennifer Lawrence. I'm sure you would. <coughs> I'm sure you would, ma'am. I'm sure you'd love to have Tesla, Ted Lasso. He'd laugh at you. And she continues in the next thing. And I want to see, you know, she's got a little bit of makeup here. This is, a, this is the woman who's going, I want to meet a Hollywood actor and him to be, you know, him to sim for me. Here we go. She continues with, all I ask is you have the three H's, height, humor, and hair. That's why you would buy a dog and die alone. Yeah, ma'am, you're average at best. An average looking man would be on your level. But no, you want a tall guy with a full head of hair at 41. And, and again, these two think humor is something a man, you know, you can be funny or not. That's fair. But how tall a man is or how much hair he has is completely, you know, it's all about genetics. Just like your genetics aren't that great either. You're no, you're not God's gift to men either, ma'am. No. Nope. And to sit there and put this crap, I, I where's my Hollywood actor? Absolutely uh, not even based in any reality whatsoever. You, you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. You, you, what? I mean, oh my God. <laughs> so uh, yes, enough of that. We'll, we'll continue. And uh, just to, another one. This year, I really want to just wait for my turn to date Pete Davidson. I'm your huckleberry. Yeah, ma'am. She's the one in the middle uh, in this picture, but I can tell, you know, these are all, they're maybe a little bit above tra uh, uh, average attractiveness. But again, this fantasy man you're waiting for. And th th look, you know, you're, you're drinking wine with your lady friends one night, you know, sitting around fire and in the backyard talking about oh there's some you know celebrity crushes you have hey we i've done that with friends of mine so that's completely different fine to do that but to sit here on your dating profile when you're trying to meet eligible men that you want to date and say i mean why would you even think this is funny i really don't get it. in the comments please if someone can explain star worshiping and why and you know like you deserve why do you deserve a star that dated one of the kardashians like he dated one, not, not saying that, you know, they're the most wonderful people in the world. I admire their entrepreneurial shift, to be honest, but in terms of their life, I mean, I think we could argue about that, but most of them are objectively fairly attractive. Who, who are you lady? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> women <laughs> get real. And, and this is what, my, this is what men in 2023 are putting up with why I started the channel. Average women or below average women think that they get exceptional men, think they get models, think they get famous people and are lusting after because they see those guys on Instagram. Oh, well, he liked my picture one time, some famous guy. Yeah, they'll run through you, but they're, he's going to date famous people. Like, that's just, and even, and even if you think it's cute, here to tell you, <coughs> it's not. It's not funny. It's not cute. If a man put this, you'd, it'd be just as ridiculous at, as you putting it. So we'll continue and says, at this point, I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore. And of course my favorite emoji of all throwing her hands up. Okay. Nope. No, not really. Uh, I am tired of being disappointed. Hmm. Now I, this kind of man shaming language always bothers me as you know. So this just starting this off, it, it, it makes you look so ridiculous already. Now she continues. Would it be nice to find someone to do things with? And then she goes drinks and gym. Now you think someone who's mentioning the gym would be like, I'm pretty fit. But no, if you see her picture down here, she is, you know, a solid size 14 or 16 going 
let's go drinks and gym. And do you know why you're being disappointed? Because you're chasing after Chad, because you're matching with the most attractive men on this app. And then those guys, of course, are, you know, she's got a fairly attractive face. She would be pretty attractive if she was, if she were fit, but yeah, they'll, they'll pump and they'll dump you. And so the men you actually could, you know, are on your level, you don't want those men. You think you're better than them. So you're going to continue to be disappointed because of who? Not because of men, but because of your choices. That is the truth. Remember that you're choosing the men you match with. It's not like they're forcing them to, you know, to match with you. Um, just ridiculous. And again, not based in reality. Men on your level would also be, you know, maybe they don't have the greatest job. Maybe they're not as tall as you'd want. Maybe they're what all these things, but no, they're not good enough. All these women think they're those normal guys. Average men are not good enough. And I'm here to tell you they're better than good enough for you, actually, because they treat you very well. These not everyone is smashing like Chad. Chad is loving that. I mean, I'm telling you, I know I talk about Chad a lot. The Chad's and Tyrone's of the world are absolutely cleaning up. They are just running through. I mean, I know a few of these guys and we're talking, you know, in the hundreds, if not thousands of sex partners. So that, I mean, you can believe me or not, Bruh. but that's what's going on because women find them so attractive. And so they, they, they want the fantasy. They'd rather th th think about this. That woman would rather put in her profile. Are you Ted Lasso? Some famous guy, you know, a char character from TV. Then just be with you know a, a, an average guy because she thinks she's better let's continue so she's 43 and says about me i do what i want get in loser we're going shopping yeah yeah just the way to start you know and i, I can't imagine why you're single at 43 man with starting with that i just i can't imagine but Look, guys, down below, she's got... I'm a PhD. Yeah, neat. We don't care. She continues. Not much into drinking. Okay, that's fine. But there, okay. Now, love it that, you know, you're... you're. She writes a little lower. I have to call, call this out. She writes brains over muscles, but she writes her height, even though her height is literally right below there. Because <laughs> you're so damn smart, I guess. Okay. Then she says, Swedish Filipina. All right. Vegan. You don't need to be, all right? That's like, again, you know, get, don't have to talk about all this here, but she wanted to, fine. Then she does say she goes brains over muscles, but then she goes, you must be a hot chubby chaser. <laughs> Ma'am, uh, are you that bad of a liar? Because uh, I kind of don't believe you. Yeah, I assume you mean he has to be hot and he has to be a chubby chaser. So let me get this straight. So you get to do what you want. You're a big girl, you're a 5'8 big girl with a chest tattoo, if you can see above, with a not even very good tattoo. So a tattoo's all over your body. Saying you want brains over muscles, but the guy has to be hot and chase your big girlness around. That's a huge bitch. Yeah. No ma'am. <laughs> get get with reality. You're 43. Uh, you'd be lucky to find a nice guy who's not even that attractive because you're not. But no, they want it all. They think they deserve it all now in 2023. They have been fed this lie that every girl gets the most attractive guy ever. No, those, those men are actually rare. You know, they're actually diamonds and roughs. You know, guys, six feet tall guys who make a, a lot of money and are fit and attractive and you know, have, have a ton of charisma and are super exciting are rare. And you can believe me or not, or you can keep chasing after some fantasy man, which you, you see this all over the dating profiles, or, you know, you are going to end up. That's why you will buy a dog and die alone. That's what's gonna happen. Let's continue. So uh, I, she's in her thirties. I missed the, the age here, but she says, don't hate me if I get bored quickly again she's got tattoos all over her body she is with children so she's a single mom 
going, you know, why, where is Mr. Exciting? Where is that exciting guy? Still want Mr. Tingles. Now she's younger. Nope. But you know, don't, don't bore me. And of course I have said this to you on the channel time and time again, the cardinal sin of anything with a woman is don't be boring. Don't be boring for sure. That's, that's true. Now she has another, uh, wonderful, uh, part of profile. Let's continue. She says, the one thing you should know about me is if you hit me up with a typical or boring ass line, I won't respond. Nope. <laughs> you know, you can see her down here. She's, uh, you know, she, she thinks she's God's gift. Once again, another woman with this overinflated ego about herself, not living in reality, you know, single mom going, don't bore me, be exciting, be amazing, you know, and you wonder why these guys pump and dump. The, uh, Guys with high charisma who are very attractive. I mean, think about men in your life, you've met ladies who, those kind of guys, are they always the best relationship partners? Think about that for a second. I just, has anyone even considered that maybe guys with a lot of, uh, you know, high charisma who women all really want and who are highly attractive and tall, you know, there's probably a lot of other women who want them too. And are they, are they gonna always be the best relationship partners? This is one reason you see women eventually get with men who maybe aren't as attractive and that's actually a better situation. The guy tries a little harder. He appreciates her because he's less attractive. I mean, again, this one we just saw, let's go back to, I'm gonna go back one slide for her. So take a look at her. So, you know, she's not hugely overweight. She's probably size eight, 10, you know. There are guys who would date her and even with her kid would absolutely you know, try to wifey her up. But just from her profile, just these two little clips, you know, ladies and gentlemen who watch, you know she, that guy's not good enough. He's not exciting enough. He's not interesting enough. He's not attractive enough. She doesn't want those kind of guys. So I just, you know, think about that. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. So she is, uh, she was in her 20s. She was 27. She says, the way to win me over is planning wonderful experiences if you are an enterprising, visionary man, being generous, delighting me, and surprising me. <laughs> Women. <laughs> yeah, I just want it all. I just want it all. What are you doing to secure a man like this, man? What, what, you know, and again, let, let's read what this actually means. So she said all these lovely words. Um, what she's saying is, I want a highly charismatic, attractive man who is enterprising so who's rich who will spend money on me and will constantly you know take me places bring me around the world ma'am that guy is if you if a guy who would do that to you probably be in his 50s his 40 late 40s or 50s no man anywhere near your age that you're gonna find highly attractive would would you know bring you around the world like they wouldn't need to a guy who on your level you want a man that you're highly attracted to do all these things for you and it's just it's nope not gonna happen because you're not wife material you i mean you this this expectation just shows me you know you're you're in this for it's a game you want this fantasy man and it's not grounded in reality once again so and and please ladies don't put being generous in your pro. It, all that means is basically, I want money. I want you to spend money on it. And yes, all men know this. It's not like we don't know that women want that you to spend money on them. It's very clear. I mean, these things are just axioms. So it just makes you look just like that'd be like a dude putting, I want a very beautiful woman. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, super duh, bro. Yeah, we know. We know. Let's continue. And we end on this this lovely lady. So she is, uh, I think she's late 40s or 50. I didn't get the, the, the age again, but I, you know, she's average at best, you know, for her, she's fine for her age. But here's what she writes. What makes a relationship great is honesty, kindness, and sense of humor. Okay, what she's basically saying is what she, that the guy has to do. She's not even talking about herself. It's basically what I want him to do still. In her late forties, average woman in her late forties going, here's all my demands still, okay? Communication, 
compromise and commitment. Yes, he needs to compromise. Okay. Sure. Wait, you want commitment? Okay. Yeah. But then, then she's going to continue. Practice chivalry and makes me feel physically and emotionally safe. <sighs> <laughs> Women. <laughs> now, if that wasn't enough, if that was enough, then she says the James Bond type. Yeah, because James Bond was Mr. Simp. Yeah. James Bond went around the world, you know, fucking all those beautiful women, and he was just simping for them constantly. Are you We can't make this shit up. We can't make this shit up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, be highly be the, the apex predator attractive for me. Okay, still. Uh then but basically just be into me, commit to me. Be chivalrous just to me. I mean, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, the bitch is crazy. Oh. <laughs> I should just go down to the soundboard and use every one of these. Like, oh, I, <laughs> ma'am, what what reality do you live in? Because it's not. It's you're. Are you in the fourth dimension and got you know shifted here from some other dimension? That James Bond. We should watch a James Bond movie, and I should react to it at some point. Go show me where he simmed for a woman. If anything, the woman were he was you know protecting them, and they were all over him the whole time. It's not the other way around. I, I just this. I mean, mass delusion to even put this. And once again, why are you alluding to another famous archetype, or you know, f either fictional or non-fictional famous person in your dating profile? I mean. Just the final point, I know I'm harping on this, but if there was a guy on the dating app, a James Bond type, a guy who, you know, that attractive with an accent and, you know, he wouldn't want you. Show me all the older women, James Bond. I mean, there was a couple a couple movies, I and mean, I actually do, do like James Bond. So, you know, there was Octopussy, he kind of got into it, into the older, but in general, all the women James Bond was with were all like in their early 20s. You, 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 did you remember that part? No, you, she only remembers the fantasy part of I just want to be swept off by a you know, mysterious, dangerous guy. And again, late 40s going, I still want that tingly mystery guy. <laughs> God, anyway, I will leave it there today for <laughs> until I blow up. Um, thank you again for watching another episode of Dating Delusions. I really appreciate the support. If you did like the content, please do give me a subscription and uh, you know like a comment if you'd like. If you disagree with anything I say, I'm, I'm all for it. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace. <laughs>